Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're actually addressing a comment that we got from one of our viewers regarding how to upgrade an SSD or a hard drive in a desktop PC such as this one without losing any data. Whether you're upgrading for larger space, faster speeds, etc., it can seem intimidating to try this process yourself, especially if you have critical data but we're gonna walk you guys through a very easy method and you'll be very confident going into this installation. Before we get started with that, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So in this video, we're not gonna be covering the actual installation of the SSD itself. We do have a video where we initially installed this SSD and we'll put that on the screen right now. But rather what we're gonna show you guys in this video is the actual steps to preserve your data. Now for this method specifically, you'll need some sort of external storage and this is gonna be your transfer device to go from one SSD to another. What I have here is a USB 3.0 256 gigabyte HP thumb drive. If this isn't enough space, I'd recommend picking up a Seagate or a Samsung external hard drive. You can just get a mechanical disk drive. They come in up to four terabytes and you can use that and it'll work the exact same. All right, so to get started with this process, we're gonna navigate to the control panel and we'll go ahead and open that up. Okay, and then from here, we're gonna navigate to system and security. And what we're looking for here is this backup and restore option. So we'll click that. At this point, I'm gonna plug in this hard drive. We'll show you guys how this is gonna be showing up. And our next step is to hit create a system image. Okay, we'll select our disk that we want to copy this information to. I'm getting an error message here because this drive is not formatted with NTFS. Let me actually just show you guys how to reformat this drive really fast in case you need to do that as well. So I'll open up my file explorer first and I'm gonna right click the drive and I'll press format. Now it told us here that it's not formatted in NTFS, so we'd need to format it to NTFS. We'll do that. And again, make sure that there's no critical data before using any drive for this process. This is gonna completely delete all information that's on it, which is fine with me. So we'll press start and I'll press okay. Format is now complete. Okay, cool. I'll go back into here. Again, we'll create a system image. And I believe I'm getting this image because this drive doesn't have enough space. It's not sufficient space to do a full backup on Windows. But if you're using an external hard drive, any external hard drive formatted correctly, you should be good to go ahead and hit the next button. Now, once the backup's complete, you're gonna be asked if you wanna create a system repair image. And we recommend just following the prompts along with that as well. Now, a second method, if you want a somewhat hassle-free method, is you can always use a third-party software to complete the transfer for you. We've shown a method like this in a previous video where you use a SATA cable to plug in the new drive before you actually install it to the case. And you can use one of the various tools available online for that transfer. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about any parts of the process, Leave those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you found the video helpful, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, be sure to check out Indigo Software if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.